Well, after the shooting happened, 50 ends up getting dropped from Columbia Records. Right. And then that's when the rebuilding starts. Right. Was Lloyd Banks, was he kind of with y'all already by, by 2001? Lloyd Banks was a lyrical genius since 16 years old. I never forgot his first rap. He said, uh, I keep the uh, razor blade and the trapper keeper. I knew him. He lived right across the street from my mom's house, his mom's. So he just was, a, we just was rapping. Rap, music is an escape. Like if you're in the streets and the block is hot and the, and the DTs, TNTs coming out, they usually come out on Tuesday and Thursday. We go to my man Fat Shot House. We go in the basement. We spit some bars. I could tell you 50 first rap. I could tell you Banks first rap. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's more of a cultural thing for us. Like we looked up to Big Daddy King, Slick Rick. When I seen him, I'm I'm a groupie. You know what I'm saying? We looked up to Cool G Rap, see him a groupie. So I we remember the culture and hip hop and Beat Street and graffiti and you know, you know how it was in the 80s, run DMC. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. It's Christmas time, man. Hollis Queens. You know, we came up to them. To me, that was like one of the biggest groups of all time to me at Run DMC. Of course. Yeah. Okay, because I remember in 2001, Lloyd Banks ends up getting shot twice. Yeah, that was at a party. It was like... Leaving a club. Were you guys already working on G-Unit at that time? Yeah, we, had the, we had the mixtapes going already. We were starting to get the streets on fire. Right. You know. Because then, because first you guys dropped 50 Cent, guess who's back? Yeah, that was... Mixtape. Yeah, I believe that, that was the first one. Okay, and you actually show up on... That's what's up. Yeah. On that on that mixtape. Yeah, yeah, yep. That G on the nigga, that's what's up. Yeah, right. right. And then uh the songs You Not Like Me and Life's on the Line, which ended up showing up on Get Rich or Die Trying yeah, later definitely. on. So you guys are already laying the foundation of what's about to yeah, happen. Definitely. Um, and then right around that time, I guess you guys are going on tour to promote the mixtape and you guys hook up with Young Buck on tour. Yeah, yeah Young Buck, um, and UTP. he came from Juvenile. Yeah, he exactly. came from Juvenile. Yeah, we met him from Juvenile. Exactly. Um, and then 50 Cent is the future mixtape right, drops. Right, yeah, yeah, that drop. I remember I moved to New York right around that time. And let me tell you, that was the biggest thing in the streets. Like I was a oh, mixtape yeah, DJ. We, we it was the, the biggest online. thing. Like when that dropped. And we appreciate all the fans, everybody that ever oh, oh, supported yeah. G-Unit because, you know, I feel like, you know, 50 was a genius because we could have signed with other deals and bitch ass Irv Gotti was trying to block us in the universal system. So we couldn't, we could, we had deals on the table, two million, but fifth was like, nah, Irv is going to block us because Ja Rule was still, you know, where would I be with all you? The Cookie Monster was still on top a little bit. You know what I mean? So with with that being said, like fifth waited for the right deal and Eminem and Dr. Dre, right, you know, right. we came to the West Coast. You know exactly. What I'm well, because, you know, on 50 Cent is the future, you're actually on the cover. That's the first time I right. feel like the world Banks gets too, yeah. Well, you and Banks, that's what I meant. Yeah, but the two of you are actually on the cover with 50, and that's definitely. when you actually get introduced to the faces. Right. And you have a song called Tony Ayo Explosion, the solo song so on that. So you're bringing it back. Yeah. Yep. You're also on Bump That and Call Me. Yeah, definitely. So now you're like, people are getting to know Tony Ayo right. as well. And Eminem starts hearing the mixtapes, reaches out to 50, flies him out to meet Dr. Dre, Million dollar deal. Oh, I never, yeah, I never. Shady forgot. aftermath. Yo, look, I remember, I remember the day on the phone. Eminem was on the phone. It was Eminem, Theo, Scott, Amaya, me, Fifty. I think Smurf was there. Was Banks there? I'm not. I'm not sure. I th I know Smurf was there, and a couple other niggas. And um, at that time, Chris Style was popping. <laughs> you know, and there was a bottle of Chris Style, and the deal was signed. And I was just like Eminem. It was just like, you know, a lot of people, you know. Eminem is, a, is is like, he's in my top five MCs. So it's like, right, man. he I mean, slept on. I mean, come on. By that time, the Marshall Mathers LP had already dropped, which was like sold like 20 right. million copies. Like this was one of the biggest yeah, but, artists on but earth. But I say, I say for me, for one verse was um, Renegade when him and Jay, because yeah, it was just Jay like, went you know, at it. And he it was won. Like, and he, he had he the better showed, verse. Yeah, yeah, he showed his, his <laughs> rapping capability that for the hood. Yeah. So, I mean, before I even knew Eminem or anything, it was like Renegade was like, made me a fan. Of Eminem, and I always say that, you know? Yeah. 